And on our Father's Day, my dad and I will be answering questions from fans. And it's my favorite day. It's the one day all my girls have to treat me kindly. I won't be here this year. <laughs> Best life advice that my dad's given me would be, do what makes you happy. And the day it doesn't make you happy anymore, peace out. And work till you drop. Fans ask me, am I mechanically inclined? Or do I just talk? Well, I've always talked, but in my early days, I worked on the car. I did the clutch, I put the heads on it. I even tried tuning and set myself on fire a few times. We become closer over the years, definitely. Uh, we travel together, we work together, we do appearances together, we do everything together. So um, all that time together, we've gotten closer. It has its moments, it has its ups and its downs, but we've definitely gotten closer over the years. You want to hear something? I always wanted sons and I got girls. And did you know I always wanted dogs and not cats? <laughs> and now I got the cat. But now he's turned into the cutest little thing. He's got a little, a little bad tooth. You know when I was a little kid, they called me fangs. I've had my teeth worked on. But they called me Wolfman, Larry Talbert, when I was a kid because I had teeth that came down where I could bite you. And, uh, He's got a little tooth, so he's half like me. Favorite food, pizza and tacos. Nutrisystem. Uh, yoga. Uh, I like a two hour gym workout of treadmills and, and weights and uh, a little bit of everything. Got it at my house, I love it. The most irritating thing about you is you always think everybody around, you always think I have a hidden agenda. You always think, I'm doing something for some other reason that I'm not telling you. I can't wait for Father's Day to have peace. You know, people ask when I think I'll retire. Well, number one, I want my kids to run the business and my son-in-laws and bottom line, until they learn everything, I can't quit. And the truth is, I really don't want to quit. But I am 72 years old and I look at probably 75 or they're close or after. Uh, but if I'm winning, why should I quit? Travel to Egypt and see the pyramids. Win another championship. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. No favorite moments with me? No, there's a lot of me. me. But no, embarrassing moments. <coughs> embarrassing. The drive he always likes to draw attention. <coughs> he always likes to draw attention to me. That's that. Like when you're walking through the pits? Yeah, like when we're walking through the airport and pretty forced hair, come get a picture. Like that whole shenanigans. That's our job. That's our job. That's what sponsors pay us for. You know, goes to the we, airport. We, just you know, we got to sell peak antifreeze and coolant. We got to sell Chevrolet's, Cornwell tools, do auto club insurance, Monster Energy, Flavor Pack. How do we do it? By talking to the fans and getting them to buy it. That's the trick. That's why I can't retire. I gotta stay here till you kids learn all this. My daily driver is a Z71 Chevy Silverado. And my favorite driver is our family, all my girls, they, they all like trucks. And I, and I have a truck, the same that, that you have. Yours is black, mine's white. But my new trick driver is my mid-engine or rear engine, whichever they call it, Corvette. I got one of those, white, I love it. and. Uh, Brittany actually took me out and showed me how to drive it the other day. It's all computerized. It has all the state-of-the-art stuff. I'm a little bit of a dinosaur, but it is a trick car, and it's fast. You got to be careful. Didn't you have fun driving it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. And, and I've driven it too. It's pretty cool. Why my daughters are a blessing is I always wanted boys. Everybody knows that. But uh, at the end, I got three great drivers. Ashley was a fantastic funny car driver. Courtney was a uh, a fantastic, uh, funny car driver. They were all social media queens. Everybody loved them, and the fans loved them. And Brittany, uh, you know, a champion in top fuel, a great top fuel driver. And uh, but you got to learn to love the the fans. And I didn't know a lot of drivers are kind of they stay back, they keep their space. But my girls are really after the fans. They really love being with them. They got their education. Uh, their mom saw to that and they wanted it. So uh, the things that they've done, uh, they're all beautiful. Uh, they got their looks from their mom. But at the end of the day, 
They're really good, rounded kids, and I really do appreciate that. Well, I just enjoy being with my kids at the races, like I did when they were growing up, but I didn't get a lot of time with them, so when they're out there with me, I really enjoy it, even though I aggravate Ashley and Courtney and especially Brittany, but I love that time with them because I won't live forever, and their mom gets lots of time, and I get time with them on the racetrack. Well, I love being a father because you watch your children grow up. Adra, uh, uh, watching her grow, watching her evolve, getting her first car, watching Ashley, watching Brittany and Courtney, my other three girls. Uh, it's all important, but then they start having children. Adra had Autumn and, and watching Autumn grow and then ended up in a junior dragster racing like Grandpa, that's pretty exciting. And, and, uh, and then Ashley, Jacob and Noah, you know, driving. Uh, uh, I know that if Brittany has kids, they'll be in a, they'll, they'll be in some kind of NHRA racing if they decide to race. Now, Ray Hall, he's taken Harlan and Courtney to IndyCar. I've already had that discussion. That didn't go so good. When you're a father, every day you're just driven to feed them and put shoes on them and, and get them to college. And then when you have grandchildren, yeah, for some reason you slow down, you let the parents do all that, you know, put shoes on them, gonna send them to college, but you get to enjoy more time with them. That it ain't like you're always looking at them thinking, oh God, how are we gonna feed them? How are we gonna, you know, uh, with the grandkids, you learn after a lifetime that they will get through it. We will all make it. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I just love that time with the grandchildren. A lot of goals for the season, obviously, to win more races. Uh, move up the points before the countdown begins and then chase down another championship. We want to we want that number one on our car, but uh, Looking you know at the season overall. I want to double up with him. I want to double up with my dad share the winner's circle with him. That would be That would be awesome. And for me uh, You know they're all talking about how they want to run through life and win and get this and get to the end of the year But at my age, I want to slow down a little bit. I want to enjoy the ride, I want to smell the roses. I've, I've got a, a great team, Daniel Hood and Fabrizi uh, uh, run my car. It's been very consistent and uh, we got a shot at the title. So maybe, but Robert's right in the middle of the hunt and there's a whole bunch of other guys out there, Hagen and Wilkerson and, and Caps, the list goes on and on, Cruz. But bottom line, maybe we got a shot. So let's see if we can do it. <laughs>